Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. Philips is the biggest little Dutch company you've never heard of. Started 123 years ago, it originally made light bulbs and that's still what it makes but much more efficiently and much more usefully using new LED technology. So much so that Philips has gotten rid of all of its consumer electronic stuff and is focusing primarily on healthcare and lighting. And this building behind us called Evalon was built in the 70s to epitomize their innovative spirit, something I'm very loath to talk about is the word innovation but I think in Philips's case it's pretty accurate let's take a look at some of their clever stuff Franz van Houten you're in a, a great position you've got these this remarkable company that you've split into two that's going to focus on on Philips's two great strengths which is healthcare and and lighting and and there's some great advantage uh, innovations that you've been you've been uh, talking about today Yes, we are showcasing today a lot of innovations to make the world healthier and more sustainable. And we believe that technology can really advance healthcare to serve more people at lower cost. I think this is also hugely important for Africa um, and also on the lighting side. And I'd love to give a few examples if I may. Please do. In Africa, we have an innovation center in Nairobi in, in Kenya. This is because we believe that innovation needs to be locally relevant. Uh, we realize that over 600 million people in Africa are not yet connected to the electricity grid. So we have brought lighting solutions with energy efficient LED lights, with a solar panel and batteries to light the villages. But we go beyond that because when we talk about villages and, and we see that infant mortality is still between 6 and 7 percent across Africa, then um, by bringing um, ultrasound services into the rural clinics, we can actually help pregnant women to understand whether they need to move to the city because there's a complication or whether it's safe and the child is doing fine. So mother and child are, are fine, then you can have a delivery in the rural area. But um, in this business that we have set up, where we provide ultrasound uh, services in rural clinics, we can see that infant mortality goes down tremendously. And it's a very clever solution, very innovative, which is a word I seldomly use, but it really is in this case. It's a, it's a, like an iPad-sized device with a handheld scanner, and, and it sends all of the data to the doctor. In fact, I'm told it does it in real time, so the doctor might as well be there. This is, this is the promise of telemedicine that's finally arrived, hasn't it? Absolutely, uh, and we feel very excited about it. So indeed, it's a rugged uh, display with an ultrasound probe that the that the nurse can use in the rural setting. All the images get transmitted live to the city, uh, maybe 100 kilometers further, further out. Uh, the picture gets interpreted by the doctor and the advice is given to the nurse and the patient gets a direct response. And we do this as a service which is uh, therefore has a low threshold of acceptability. It's affordable uh, and people pay as they go. Speaking of pay as you go, I mean, I think your, your, your solution to public lighting is quite a thing. I mean, we've heard of software as a service, on-demand services. Now you're talking about owning the infrastructure and, 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 and giving it or leasing it, as it were, to the, 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 the city and they pay only for what they use. That's pretty radical thinking. Yeah, but this is where I think demand is going. Um, municipalities that are spending a ton of money on wasteful uh, lights that use a lot of electricity. They should upgrade to energy efficient LED lighting, but they may not have the capital expenditure to do so. So we take that burden away from them and they can pay us out of their energy savings. Um, and since we know how long our products last, we can make the optimal trade-off and therefore have the best possible fee per use. Uh, we think as a company, we've got to be innovative and our customers appreciate that.